I know, a little random. I am here in Sante. It was such an unexpected like holiday vlog because I was not expecting to go on holiday. But we booked this two days ago and we packed our bags and we came. It's more like for work. So we're literally going to be creating content that I have to complete. And it has to be in a sunny beach vibe. And there's no sun or beach in London. I'm in a beautiful hotel. I'm going to show you guys around because it is breathtaking. Um, as you can see, I've already tried to take some photos. Only here for three days, guys. So it is going to be back to back making content and then get back to London we had a stressful day first our flight was delayed by two hours then we got to Greece and then we had to share a cab with a random man it is like maybe common it's like an uber x but yeah um they dropped us first and then they dropped the man we came in they served us lemonade and it was actually fresh lemonade guys and i was pretty impressed hotel feels like a like a retreat you know when you go away and you relax it honestly is so zen like it's so relaxing they also bring you in a little like you know golf cart because it is such a big little island where the hotel is and it is a long walk between rooms so i'm gonna show you the hotel and yeah We just did loads of content. We're gonna go eat at one of the restaurants that they have in the hotel. I just thought let's just experience at least one night of fine dining. I'm gonna do this French plaque look because I'm wearing like a really summery dress. Basically, I didn't bring no shampoos, so I can't even wash my hair at the moment. We need to go to a shop and get some. Let's see how this looks. I don't know. Look really weird. Every time I do plaits, I'm like, do I like it? I ended up taking it off and now I almost ripped out my hair using these elastic bands. <sighs> I'm going to slick it on one side and just leave it because at this rate, we're just going to be extra late. cream ice cream but it's salted with a bit of bread and I can't remember what he said but it is beautiful and this view is just I can't even deal it is insane us and trying really strange food is very common it's like um like a salad but it's cold like an ice cream how crazy is that so here we've got three different types of bread, the wheat bread, the homemade sourdough bread and the carob bread. just finished the meal it was really nice it was a set menu it was 95 euros if you've never had a fine dining experience definitely recommend this one it is really unique that's the only way i can describe it it's really strange but unique tastes Good morning guys so we're gonna go to breakfast it is currently 7 a.m 
We are starting the day really early because we need to get so much done today. We were supposed to wake up at 5 but nothing starts till 7am so really and truly there's no point of waking up that early. You know you get free yoga with your room, you can go to the gym, sauna but you know I do want to do yoga. I've never tried it but um, maybe I can do it tomorrow. It's a bit too early for this. Let me just turn this camera around and show you what I'm seeing right now. All the rooms are down here and then you walk through this little corridor and then you get to the main restaurant. So from here you can see the whole island and then you come in and this is the main restaurant. Look how peaceful it looks. It just looks like a retreat that like you come here to just take your minds off things. So this is the breakfast section. There is so many selections. Look how amazing this all looks. And it's all beautiful presented. Look at the fruits. There's so many choices. Usually there's not many choices of fruit, but there's even passion fruit, guys. Oh my. And cherries. <gasps> fruit selection. And fresh bread. Croissants. Oh my god, everything's just so nicely done. We have natural honey. How insane. You know, if you could just grab it out and make it here. Oh, how cool is that? I can genuinely say this is the best breakfast I've come across because look at the selection i can't believe they they have passion fruit for breakfast you can get like all these fruits from the buffet but then you can order like your protein through the kitchen so like an omelette fried egg your coffees and drinks so yeah it genuinely makes me so happy huh? this fruit mm. my omelette came i asked it with everything let's open it and see if it's full of Oh my god, <sighs> look at that. Just finished our breakfast. The verdict from the breakfast is 10 out of 10. The service, the people here are so nice, guys. They're so polite and gentle. The food, 10 out of 10, so much selection. And then we were thinking, because this comes with breakfast included, but usually in hotels, they charge you for like the drinks or the protein so like the eggs so we was like oh like do you have anything to pay and they're like no it's all included i'm like wow so all of that luxury it was all included guys we loved the breakfast i got ready put some makeup on i'm wearing the same dress from yesterday i'm gonna show you because yesterday i completely forgot so this is the dress that i was talking about it is so nice from I saw it first. I wore this yesterday, but I needed to shoot it again. It is so beautiful and it has these strings. So yeah, that is one of the outfits. And this bag is from ASOS. So it's currently 3 p.m. I've been shooting for hours now. I did a real TikTok, done bikini, we've done outfits. So I feel like it's time for lunch. I knew this holiday wasn't going to be like a glamorous holiday. It was going to be pure work. So um, this is the whole holiday vlog. I am so hungry because I ate so much fruit for breakfast. I'm starving. So I'm going to get ready and I'll show you around the hotel a little bit more because there's so much more to see. But I want to try the lunch from here. ordered some room service it came so quickly look how beautiful this is guys i got a linguine with some cheese and look at the this fruit salad it looks so nice mm. wow hello so it is currently 7 p.m we're ready to go for dinner i kept my hair up redone my makeup had a little nap uploaded a youtube video so i've done so much of my checklist but i just want to show you my outfit before we leave i'm wearing the sara skirt it's probably one of my favorite skirts it just reminds me of summer i've worn it so many times 
and this is one skirt that I would rewear because it's so beautiful. It's from Zara. It is so gorgeous. I got some new sandals and I love them. And this top's from Skims. Put my hair up. Earrings are from ASOS. And yeah, that is my outfit for today. I look like a Hawaiian babe. <laughs> also, you guys, I completely forgot all the necessary things that I need, like gel, body oil, I forgot toothpaste, like so my body is so dry like when i take pics i always need oil he gave me the idea to just ask for olive oil room service came through with olive oil in a little like look how much they gave us and it's been a lifesaver like you apply it and it gives you a shine i don't know if it's good for your skin but i'm sure there's nothing wrong with it um it doesn't smell like anything and it's moisturizing my skin i just had to deal because you haven't been able to go shop there's no shops in here so next time you forget your oil just ask room service for some olive oil <laughs> restaurant called Porcilio. It is a Mediterranean restaurant. It is highly recommended by everyone in the hotel. It reminds me of just a, such a Greek kind of restaurant and I realized that every time they we eat here they bring us olive oil and salt and I think Greece is like known to make their own olive oil and I'm here putting it on my skin. How embarrassing. Do you guys cheers every time you have a drink? I actually wait for you. I know I'm sorry. <laughs> I always forget, guys, I'm so bad. This is a pineapple salad and this is buns, sweet and sour buns. Okay, cool. Mm. Okay, let's taste this salad. I only picked it because it had mango in it, guys. Mm. Oh, a little kitty, little kitty. Oh. This is a little kitty. It reminds me of my little kitty at home. He's black. Oh. I'm gonna give it some food because he's hungry. Oh my god, he's so hungry. I love cats. I can't believe I love cats the way I do. He looks a little bit aggressive, though. I'm not touching him. <laughs> called Inomelo. Inomelo. It's homemade wine. Okay. Honey. Cinnamon, ginger, okay. apple, and orange. Oh, amazing. Thank you. <laughs> cheers! <laughs> cheers, because you don't cheer. Oh, God. Wow, wow that, so that tastes good. like cranberry juice with cinnamon. Has it got alcohol? Is this alcohol then? Is that wine with cinnamon? Mm. Guys, so we're going to walk around. Look how beautiful the town is. It's so like lit and open to, to the public and everyone's like sitting outside. Oh my god, this vibe is just so nice. And it's really clean as well. Look how nice it is. And there's like a church down there. Actually, that's not a church, that's a bank. Little shops and boutiques. How pretty. How beautiful this store is. It's a champagne shop where you can buy expensive alcohol look how nice i've never been to a shop like that I came to the shisha place it's literally yachts our views are yachts let's see if the shisha is nice but so far it is cute i love the view though like imagine this during the day i think it's just like the beach but it's in front with loads of yachts there's a lot of people here with money because there's huge yachts like huge how big these yachts are they are pack that they bought us <laughs> we, I got an amaretto sour <laughs> guys so the trick is yeah because I was choking bears usually in London <laughs> usually in London I don't have to do this but this sheet is a bit different so you put your tongue like this and then suck it in so the tongue stops it from going to your throat right so I get and then 
so different. Hello you guys, so we just had breakfast, it was so nice, I'm completely full up, we're just back in the room because we are going to check out to move to another room, originally when we arrived we had not the best room, basically the one with a, without a pool, but it's currently fully booked so we was like can we have a room with a pool, just for content really because that's what we came here for, to make, to just work and where we were staying it had um, a balcony and the sun doesn't face it so it was completely dark and even though it has a jacuzzi i mean i don't really want a jacuzzi so um anyways we hope we could only have this room for two nights and the two nights are over so we're gonna go back to that other room the area is spectacular it looks breathtaking we took some pictures there yesterday so make sure to check out my instagram for all the content and outfit inspos because they'll all be on there this is the other room there's the toilet the showers here and here's the room it's pretty much the same but the only difference is you get this beautiful view but oh and there's a jacuzzi that i was talking about um an amazing view but basically the pool is down there so we're gonna go to the pool and i bought this little instant camera in urban outfitters and i haven't used it so basically i need to be able can you see me through it we can. i need to be able to have a lens so i can see what i'm gonna take a picture of but how insane it used to be back in the day where you couldn't even see the kind of photos you would take like you, if you if you look bad, you look, you're going to look bad. You can't do anything about it. And it's just one take. So I'm going to do a few. I'm going to do one, okay? Oh, should I do it? So you kind of have to go... Ch -ch -ch, and then... Okay, cool. I think I'm in... Ready? Ah. <laughs> I can't wait to see these. We are at the main pool. It is so peaceful. You get your own bed assigned to your room. We're on the room 206 and it says 206 literally on the stone. So yeah, it's really nice. Unfortunately, these are the one of the rooms that I actually wanted, which goes directly into the pool. But they're all fully booked. It is high season. So anyways, our room was really nice. But look, even directly where we are is the pool. So I'm going to turn the camera. The bar and restaurant is in there. You can order everything through a QR code and they bring you cocktails, food, whatever you want. Or you can sit in there as well. So funny, right? So I told him to like record me from here down there. And I literally went all around to swim in the pool. And I just looked like an absolute idiot. <laughs> like guys i want to have like the best holiday content and it's just like i'm not a pro like i genuinely need you know one of them gopro no what is it called them flying cameras yeah that would look so much better me and my imagery i'm like yeah it's gonna look so cool it looks horrible i'm gonna put the clip in because it's just actually so funny <laughs> Guys, so this guy is from the spa and he is, what's your name? My name is Oit. From the spa and he's going to do like a little tester of the massages that they do in the spa. Oh my god, that feels so good. And I think we're going to have to do one tomorrow when we get back from our activity because, well, he took his knot out like literally in five minutes. <laughs> oh my god, that hurts. I'm such a short person right this dress is so long for me that I'm just gonna have to cut it I have to wear it but I'm not wearing heels to eat so he's gonna cut it it came out amazing this dress has like four layers of material 
So when I get back home, my nan's gonna definitely try and tie it in. It's nice, it's from Naked Wardrobe. Awesome. So we're finally ready, I put the dress on. I'm happy with it now. My perfume, well, I forgot all the perfumes at home, but I've heard this Carolina Herrera perfume is really nice and I bought it and it's so different to what I usually get. It's more sweet and look at the bottle, it's literally a shoe. So, perfume for the day. And we're ready to go and eat. <coughs> Sorry, we want like authentic ones. So like really, very like homey restaurant. It doesn't have to be fine dining. We're a little bit tired of that. So we're gonna go to the town where we was yesterday or we might just find something else. But we will let you know. to this homely restaurant the girl in the reception recommended this it's called Akoritiri if I'm pronouncing it right it is the same name of the village and it's so nice it's the same vibe from yesterday it's so homey that it's owned by a dad and a daughter so um, the dad is the one that cooks and the daughter is the one that is going to present all these foods So she just explained that they're going to bring all the foods on the first page of the menu And then we can choose what we like With all our mozzetes, you yeah. can simply choose whatever you like Okay, here are all our salads. This is the Greek salad. This is pasta salad with mayonnaise, carrots and peppers Summer salad is potato and yogurt. The special of jander with tomato, potato, onions, mustard and vinegar sauce. Thank, Thank you so you. much. Uh, yeah, I love that. <laughs> so we're going to try the octopus. And then we got the Greek yogurt to dip with the bread, which I know is quite traditional here in Greece. That was so cool. And I love the concept. And you know what? They're sisters. So that everyone that works here is family and I love that because they like put like all their effort and like love to the food which makes it so nice. But let's try the food okay. Eggplant with like cheese and like tomato. Mm. Looking at the menu to see what to order and everything's like very grilled like grilled ribeye. It says um, a grilled goat chop and I'm like do we try like goat? I got the lamb chops because I wanted to go and she said there's no goat, so lamb it is. Yeah, basically. Oh. Wait. Dog, Wait, what? Lamb is the goat. <laughs> That's what she tried to say. No. <laughs> I swear. Wait. So the goat means lamb chops. Oh my fucking god. Is that what it means? Because <laughs> I'm too dumb. I think that's what she said. Is I didn't understand. Said? I don't know, bro. Guys, it's goat lamb. Yeah. lamb. Is it lamb goat? <laughs> Correct me if I'm wrong. Because honestly, that whole last clip, I just sound so stupid. Oh my god. This is like Greek baklava with homemade ice cream. Guys, look how insane the hotel looks at night time. So this is the bar that stays up too late with food and I can't even deal. Like this looks surreal. I don't even think you guys can see what I see right now. It, look at the water, it has like these little waves. Oh my God, it's so beautiful. I love the concept that they bring everything to you so you can choose it is really strange to see but it was actually a really good idea because it just you know everything goes for the eyes it's everything so visual so if you see a dish you're more willingly to choose it than reading a name on a menu you're not going to choose it i would never pick what we picked if we didn't see it so it was really really nice um i feel like the only thing is and I think in general in Greece, because it's such a small island, 
um, and the roads are so small there's not a lot of taxis that come around here so we called for a taxi and we had to wait about 30 minutes for it so if you are ever going to come and you like to get to places really quickly I would suggest you to rent a car if I ever come back I would definitely rent a car because it's just quick and easy every time we order a taxi We've waited, we've waited up to an hour for a taxi from this hotel because there's a lot of, there's not a lot of taxis that come up this hill. So the hotel is actually positioned in the top of the hill. So it is a little bit hard. I mean, you have to have patience. You can call in advance, but there's always a risk that they might take long. So that's the only thing I would suggest if you want to be around to rent out a car so i would definitely do that i didn't think i was going to do this much experiences coming here i literally thought we was going to chill in the hotel and not do much but come on this is so beautiful i had to enjoy it as well so yeah that's basically my little feedback we are gonna pack because tomorrow is our last day guys but we have a really exciting day, so I'll probably tell you tomorrow. Hello, you guys. So it's the next morning. We are currently in the reception. I'm all ready with my little hat. It is so hot today. I was boiling in breakfast today. But today is going to be a really exciting day. I was not planning to do this, but when we saw the Instagram, I was like, we need to do it. It's one an experience that I just need to live. Um, so we are going on a boat trip and we are going to an island, well it's not an island, it's a part of Santa that is called Shipwreck and it's where these caves are and you get champagne on the boat and you can also swim in the sea, you also get to see turtles, so I've never actually done anything like it so I'm really excited. We found this guy on Instagram, there was a girl, so we went on hashtags, so we actually checked the hashtags of this hotel and there was a loads of people obviously that stayed here and they tagged this instagram and highly recommended it of this tour so we just went for it i feel like with us i like to just go with recommendations than trying to try something new because it always kind of goes wrong so that's how we found this guy and yeah hashtags do really work guys so hashtag whenever you go out because people like me i will always search it and that's how you kind of find what's good and what's not. Okay, so we are on the port. He's going to bring the little boat and he's going to put it there. But look at this view. It's so nice. And it's boiling hot. But look at all the boats. And that's the boat over there. Look, he's over there. And it's called VIP. He said that, that there's two sizes. There's one big one and one small one. But we're going to get a small one. It's funny. The guy is literally teaching her how to ride the boat. And she's like, he's like, Turn to the left and she turns to the right. <laughs> That'll be me, literally. I want to ride the boat. How cool is it? landed here and it's, it was full of cigarettes illegally and it kind of just landed there and that's why this is called shipwreck apparently and the boat is not that old it's actually like 80 years old but look at this water it literally feels like i'm in Maldives how insane look at and this is how high the cave how is you get here with my car? honestly guys my hair is an absolute mess but the wind is crazy right now but we're still enjoying it and there's no sun look at this oh my god that is so beautiful it's the reflection of the light that makes it look like that it's insane the water is so clear wow guys we quickly stopped in this little area to swim and i'm kind of scared to jump in and there's like a little cave there that i want to like swim to but i can't bring you guys because this camera is not waterproof but let me tell you around look at the water this is where we're gonna swim quickly i'm gonna try and dive 
Guys, me diving is like the worst thing ever. I can't dive to save my life. I can swim though, but I can't dive. And my lashes, I don't even know why I wore lashes, please. They're gonna go flying, so be prepared for the next clips because I'm gonna look a mess. <laughs> go on. Come on, don't be scared, it's easy. The warm water, come on. One, two, three. On. Just finished, I jumped in, it was so much fun. He was like seasick. <laughs> I was fine. I don't really get sick with these kind of things, but I was actually out of breath. I had to like kind of pedal in the middle of the water. And we went to this cave. It was so nice. I wish I brought the camera, but I couldn't. But we're gonna go back to shore now. That was so much fun. So you just said this is silver water. I mean, it definitely is. Oh, let me get closer. Oh my goodness me. It feels like I'm in the Maldives, guys. How insane is this? Like, wow. So Kossas, the tour guide, took us, uh, well, allowed us to come and get some ice cream. He's been the nicest person ever. And he took us to this ice cream little shop next to the hotel. It's called Warm and Fresh Dermatis Bakery. And let me show you these cakes. So I got mango and lemon sorbet, look how nice. We're back in the hotel now, we're on the main pool. But I just want to say how much I love that, that tour guy. He was so amazing. He was so helpful as well. He was feeling sick, he was so understanding. He, took, he like drove the boat really slowly so he didn't feel sick. Like he was just so nice. His name is Costas. We will literally um, put the details in the description as well. So if you ever are in Sante, definitely highly recommend his tours. I wish we did the turtle. There's a turtle tour where they take you to see the turtles and it's like really blue as well, but it's the whole day and we're traveling in a few hours. So we don't have time to do it. But that is something that I definitely do next time if I ever come back. Everyone just is so nice here. I've tipped every single person like so much because when someone's nice, that's what they deserve. Like it's just an extra just to say thank you. Today was so nice. I'm so tanned. Um, but we're just going to chill by the pool, relax because we have a flight at 8 p.m. and we're going to go back to London. I think this is going to be the end of the vlog. There's not much that we're going to be doing so I really hope you enjoyed this vlog. Make sure you subscribe, like if you want to see more holiday content because I'm going in a few more holidays and I'm still contemplating whether to film but I hope you enjoyed and this could be helpful for your next trip to Sante. So yeah, I'll see you in my next one. Bye!